Jordana, a uh, producer who's going to jail for, what is it, 500 years? Really? Is that an exaggeration or is that true? Literally 500 Holy fucking Jesus. years. Holy <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, Lisa, so they're going to just like keep a closet with a skeleton in it for I, a while? Or? Yeah. Uh, well, what? There's an old, uh, there's an old Richard Pryor joke where he says they gave a guy triple life. That means if this guy die and come back, he got to go back to the penitentiary. <laughs> like four. Okay, so four hundred ninety six years for this guy. He was uh, Elisa Jordana's producer. <laughs> Balls deep, using the Melton line. Got him. Uh, he was um, he was Elisa Jordana's producer, and he got caught with the old uh, the old kitty porn. Yeah, the weird thing is he got caught with it, but then he was saying stuff and doing stuff that if you paid attention, it'd be like, no, 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 you should be looking into this guy. I guarantee you has something like this. Yeah, I wonder if people have that clip. Like, we have a lot of people in our audience who despise Elisa Jordana and think she's Yeah, Satan he had that incarnate. live stream where he was pretty much, like, advertising that this was going to be a thing. And he sent out this, like, manifesto about him being this horrendous person, like, publicly. Like, yeah. it wasn't like someone looked into him finally and found, like, no, no, no. He literally sent up a flare, like, hey, I'm a creeper. And yeah. then they came for him. So it's uh, it's the guy who she defended. You'll remember when he got arrested mm -hmm. and there was that manifesto and everything. She's like, I like James Ward Nichols is his name. And she goes, I like James. James is good. James has been helpful to me, blah, 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 blah. And that's, by the way, that is a look into Elisa Jordana's psychology. Elisa Jordana can see towards the end of that elongated Elisa Jordana nose. And that's it. She can't see anything further than that. Remember uh, Botter the Swatter? Remember that guy? Yeah. She liked Botter. She I like Botter. Why are you guys mad at Botter? Oh, I don't know. She swatted me, Noodles, Chrissy Mayer, Bob Levy. Like, sweet swatted all of these people. And then she's like, but I like him. Why? Of course you like him. He gives you money. He goes on your Discord. He sucks your tits. You fucking love him. But, but Elisa, he's a bad dude. She's like, but I, but I don't care. He's, he's nice to me. Oh, well, then who gives a fuck, right? But then this James Ward Nichols, same thing. He's given her a bunch of money. He's helped her. He was his producer. He worked with her. She employed him on her show. And he gets arrested, and he has this big manifesto about how he's attracted to children, and he's got a bunch of child porn. And he's, he's actually, yeah, he was on that stream with Elisa where he said, I'm writing my manifesto right now about all the terrible things I've done. He was saying it like he was joking, but he really was. And Elisa Jordana, even after he got arrested, was backing this dude, was supporting him. And after he said some really creepy stuff, he kind of looked over to her and he's like, you heard that, Elisa. And she's like, uh-huh, yeah. And Because, again, she was fucking nosing her phone, looking at stuff, not paying attention. She handed the mic or the, the stream, whatever, over to him for a moment, and then she just shut off to everything he was doing because she was in her world. She Yeah, she didn't hear a word. He basically admitted to everything, and she was like, I'm just looking in my chat and seeing what's going on. And That's why I think if you're a, a show host, that fucking chat can be cancer. That fucking ch uh, chat can ruin a show. Because, uh, like, if you go in there and you pick out a few lines and it's really funny, it can help a show immensely. It can be a huge help, that mm -hmm. audience participation. But if you start ignoring everything and start not listening and paying attention and not being present in your own show because you're reading your chat, it can fuck you up. James Ward Nichols was sentenced to 496 years in prison on Friday. By the way, thank you to Baked Alaska for sending me this. First of all, they always look like it, don't they? It's like it's in the eyes. <laughs> just, no. It's just the eyes, the face, the 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 muscle mass, the, 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 the skin tone, the gauntness of the I mean it just all looks from shit this guy is why I don't I don't let my daughter believe in Santa Claus because then we have to go to the mall and she has to sit on his lap fuck that it's why I don't believe in government sponsored rural Wi-Fi I some people shouldn't have an internet connection but now Nichols was charged with 20 counts of possession of child sexual abuse material of 10 images or more and lewd and lascivious exhibition of an offender over 18 years of age for a 2015 incident at, incident at a Stewart Walmart. 
Last September, Nichols confessed to the Stewart Police Department committing multiple crimes across the county in a manifesto. One of the incidents was at a Stewart Walmart in 2015. The Stewart Police Department said additional charges for the crimes in other states are pending. So this mother... He's not even done. Oh, no, he's not done. 496 years. And he's still got more to go, potentially, if he faces more charges. 496 years in prison for crimes involving children. And then we've got other states that he admitted to in this manifesto, and they'll be charging him even more. So, so he's not done. I mean, there's a, there's a possibility this guy, you know, ends up racking up a grand. But, I mean, at this point, do you care if you're him? Like, oh, we're going to give you another 500 years. Never going to see him anyway. Who gives a shit? Yeah, like, I mean, he's already doing 496 years. And you're not going to have fun once you get in, buddy. So good luck to you. It's really that extra 20 that's going to push him over the edge. That's what's really going to upset him. I'm so sorry now. I uh, Look, oh. Elisa supported him. That's all you need to know. Elisa got his back. Elisa thought this guy was just fine. No problem. Uh, you know, people lie all the time. Like, Elisa was running protection for him while he... She was the only one defending him. He wasn't even defending himself. He ratted himself out, and Elisa still went, I like that guy. He's great. Yeah. He's great because he calls you pretty. He's great because he helps you with your show and doesn't ask for much money. He's great because he worships the ground you walk on. You're insane. But she'll have 400. Does some really horrendous shit the rest of the time. That right. should be kind of relevant. Then again, we're talking about a woman who just got arrested for, you know, fucking smacking a guy around on film, like on camera. 